Hey, you guys. I did not plan to do this, what I'm doing right now, today, but in my search for, um, hang on for light, <laughs> some more beach stuff, my beach bags, I need to pack those. I started going through things in the garage. Jason is working on a few things in the garage for the store. And the bug that I caught a little while ago has officially bitten. And uh, I'm kind of sorting through. These are our um, beach buckets, our swim buckets and whatnot, our summer buckets, if you will. So I was looking through these and found a whole bucket of stuff um, that I don't need. I think it's over here. Where did I put it down? I was like, oh, okay. Here, I think it's this one right here. I was like, okay, I don't need those things. I don't even know if you can see what's in there. There's a Frisbee. There's a, oh, he's gonna get mad. There's a, well, I just made all of his stuff drop off. <laughs> he was using that as a table. This is a pair of fins that no longer fits any of us. Just a little recycle bag, a Frisbee, and an old uh, beach bag that I don't want anymore. Jason's working on something for the store. Sorry, I did make that all fall on the floor for you. So then I started going through buckets on the other side of the garage, um, up there in the corner, and I found this bucket. Um, let me explain what's in here first. <laughs> so if you have been a follower of ours for a very long time, um, leave a comment down below if you um, remember when we used to do this. I didn't really film a whole lot of this, but we used to work with Costco um, as a donation company. I had a company that where I thought was our church um, and we would take donations from Costco and we would donate it to the community. And every Saturday I would fill up my entire car. I've actually been doing it so long I did it before I even had this car. Before I even had this pilot, you can't even see the car. Before I had this pilot, I had another pilot and I would fill it up like clear to the very front doors. I would fill the whole thing with stuff from Costco. And I would bring it to the front porch of, of the house here and I would just put it blasted on social media and just say, come pick it all up. First come, first serve. We would get everything from air mattresses. In fact, we have two air mattresses down there from Costco, completely free. We used to get ride on um, little cars for the kids for free. Um, but obviously we'd donate all the rest of it to um, the neighborhood and and beyond like some people, so many people so many people so many people would like say I'm going to help this family in a different state their house is burned down can I come over and fill up suitcases and they would just come and like take as much as they could um, week after week after week and um, we would just build supplies to help the community we, we did it for so many years and it just ended it ended unfortunate and we won't go into that um, nah, Jason's not he's still bitter about it we aren't gonna discuss it. <laughs> it was an amazing opportunity for us to be able to serve our community. Serve the community, be Christ-like. <sighs> yes, it was a great opportunity, but that opportunity was taken from us. It, it is what it is. So I forgot that I had this bucket of stuff. This is literally like the golden hour of um, the stuff that we used to get. Um, and I had this bin for birthday presents, for Christmas presents, for my own kids and for other kids. And it was great because if the kids had a birthday party, I could say, hey, go look in the bin and see if there's anything that we can give to them. I didn't have to pay for it. Well, I haven't found this bin for many years. Clearly, we aren't in the Disney stage any longer. Um, Disney princess dresses. Um, what else do we have in here? There's little baby puzzles down there. Uh, American Girl doll. Um, kits, whatnot. I can't use this anymore. I literally haven't looked in this bucket for years. It was underneath like our toilet paper buckets. <laughs> so I just never even looked in it. I actually figured that there's toilet paper in it. Um, so I have one friend in mind who I'm going to ask right now if she wants all of this for her girls. Her girls are so adorable and so cute and I would love to, they are very princessy and dress up -y and they, I think they would love this. Her little four-year-old, I think, would actually like really, really enjoy that. So I'm gonna offer that up to her, but as soon as I go get a new battery, I am tackling a few more things on this side, but I am gonna go through my, um, what do you call it, my decorations. And this is like Jason's, he's probably very excited for me to get rid of crap, as he calls it. Mm. Yeah. All right, I've already emptied one bin 
right there. I just had a whole bunch of craft projects half done or undone to redo again and I just, I'm not into it anymore. I just, I need to get rid of it. All that's gonna go. But I'm gonna go to Costco and get a Costco box, just like they're open-ended ones, so that I don't have to donate my bucket, but that I need something to store it in. This bucket here is Jason's family's memorabilia. So maybe I'll have him just put that up here. This is all memorabilia, these buckets right here um, that we aren't getting rid of. Found the cooler bag that I have to decide if we're gonna take. I think we might, and then we also have some of these littler ones that we can take with us on our trip as well. All right, I've officially oh taken, I've officially taken the Valentine's bucket down to just that stuff. That stuff was there before. I have, my pile is growing, and so is my allergies. This isn't bad. So how's it going? I told you you gotta get the light coming from the other direction. No, it's fine, I, you can barely talk. I can't, I'm having an allergy attack, but I'm kind of motivated right now to just get this done. You're gonna have to shower after this. I know. I'm gonna look at these. My mom gave me these. I never used them. They're little ornament eggs. Mm. But, I don't know. Ornament eggs for Christmas? Easter eggs. They're, okay, is, that's what I was saying. The, this is the man I'm dealing with. Like, oh, well, I was confused because they look like they go on a tree, but it's like. I what know, do you hang if, eggs? Because if you had an Easter egg tree, then you would hang them, but I never did. Easter so, egg tree. No, it's stuck behind our shamrock tree. <laughs> nests. Easter egg nests. Okay. That's what it was for. Oh, but, oh, all right. Yeah, so there you go. Someone is going to have a fun Easter decoration for next week. Nice. Fantastic. What do we got? What do we got? There's a second bucket. Whoa, empty. wow, that means we don't need to buy more buckets. We don't, and I haven't bought buckets for like seven years, you schmuck. It's not seven years. Yes, the last okay, buckets right, I bought yeah, were yeah. all of those over there, and how long have we had that? I don't know. We can find know. the garage video. But my goal is, I'm not gonna do all of Christmas, that's just ridiculous. Nope. I tried nope. to declutter Christmas in the moment for, for Christmas. Um, but I am trying to open up a shelf. Um, what you can't see right down here is an air fryer. But I also don't have room in the house for the air fryer to store it, but I want to start using it. I got it for free. Oh, are you still having it? Yeah. Okay. I got it, but I can't I can't use it because I don't know where to put it. And I, I didn't anyway. So I would like to have like a kitchen shelf out here for stuff that I can use and then put store back here. Um Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. So you think? I thought you were done. I know. That's how it goes when you're behind the camera. You don't know mm -hmm. what someone else's thoughts are going to keep on talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Until with the you. director says cut, Until we should keep filming. I'm done with you. Oh, and we're also going to get rid of this um, UPS. Is it 1 o'clock already? It's early. Um, we're going to get rid of the mushroom hat. Look, I think yeah. these buckets are empty. Is this empty? Uh, no, some of my stuff crammed inside of other stuff. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I got that on camera. What? Okay. Okay. I know it may not look like very much, but this is just a bin of summer, um, Valentine's Day, spring, extra craft supplies, and Easter all in one bucket. Um, that's all I'm keeping with that. I have 4th of July. 4th of July is kind of like Christmas for me. I do like to decorate. Obviously not as much as Christmas, which is fine. I have one bucket for 4th of July and one empty bucket here and two more down there. And actually Jason has, oops, what are you doing? This is an empty bucket right here, but that is rope. Maybe we could put up another time. I don't know what's in those two buckets, but I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that today. I didn't even intend to do it today in, in general. We just got um, that one. And I know that like the more I do, the dirtier I'm going to get and the more my allergies are going to drive me crazy. And I don't want to do that today. So I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead, but let me show you how much is in my car. This, like you're going <laughs> to... Look at all this stuff. I am going to go to Costco probably today or tomorrow. 
Um, I don't want to donate that bin or this bin. This is my friend's stuff. I'm going to email her or text her about right now. Um, this is all fine to go like this. These are um, frames that my friend gave me to do a graduation party for Kaylee. I'm not going to do it like that. So these are their high school colors. Um, so I'm just donating all that. There's Easter, like Easter, summer, back to school. Like I used to decorate for every single holiday in these little wood decorations like this. And I just don't anymore. Look at this cute pineapple right here. Look how cute. But I just don't do it anymore. So out with the old and not in with the new. I don't need anything new. I'm just going to get rid of that stuff. And that was another sign that we were done because we can't get anything into the yard waste anymore. I have been sneezing and blowing my nose the whole ride to our dentist's office. Oh, I didn't even put makeup on today because I did yesterday and I ended up going like that. And I had a full spread of eyeshadow on, mascara. And I literally did it right before I got somewhere I needed to go. And I had, I had mascara like down to here. <laughs> I can't control my itchy eyes. So I'm just not putting makeup on unless I absolutely have to. And then I have to be really conscious of not touching my face. Um, we are at our dentist's office right now um, getting our tax forms so that we can deduct our dental work that we had done last year. I had a lot of dental work done. We need ex as many deductions as we can this year. I mean, we, I, I would put s seven, six figures, five figures, one, two, three, four, five figures. Yeah. Five figures on how much Jason and I put into our teeth last year. So we're going to deduct that but they couldn't send that information in over the internet. And um, we had to come and get a personal print out of that information to send off to our accountant, which is the final piece of information we need to file our taxes. Um, we will probably have to file an extension because our accountant doesn't do our work um, first. She has bigger clients. Um, but um, I'm trying to just, we're trying to like figure out what else we're gonna do because our dentist is in a, a different city it puts us closer to restaurants that we don't have access to. <laughs> so we might go grab a bite to eat. I've only had a bowl of cereal and some water. This is almost gone. But um, I do need to go home and um, put away or pack all that, um, the beach bags. But I'm going to wash them down first. I can't like put them in the washing machine. So I just need to like kind of put them in the sink and wash them with a towel. Um, and then I can pack them and uh, what else did I find in the peach stuff? Um, Jason started to pack. So that was kind of, you know, I was like, you can pack your shorts, you can pack your swimsuits, you can pack your Hawaiian shirts that we're going to wear to the luau and to our family pictures. I think his shirt's going to look really good with the outfits that we have picked out for um, our family pictures. We're going colorful, neutral kind of certain people have color and other people have neutral. So I think, I think it'll look good, but, um, it's a rainy drizzly day. Can you see the cloudy drizzly skies up there in the sunroof? He got the paperwork. Um, we also might go to cash and carry. We're trying to remember what kid asked for what at cash and carry, but we can't remember. What? Is it a healthy deduction? I don't know. I kind of figure this out. She's like, it just doesn't look like a lot. And I don't... That does not look like the right amount of money. Well, that's what's left. I didn't realize there was some stuff. Oh, left. is that the amount due? I thought you were Patient getting it. Balance. Hang on one second. All right. Back at home. Um, we went and got lunch. Sat in the park in the pouring rain. And ate our lunch. This is not from today. Um, and then on our way home, I ran and got a box from Costco. But while I was there, got these. Because once one person starts in this family, the other three will start. <laughs> so two of us are down, two of us to go, and we needed a new box of those. So then I went and got some chapstick while I was in that area. You guys, this is the best deal, even if it's not on rebate. Each of these balls of chapstick at Target are $5 a piece. This pack is normally $14.99, so it's still a killer deal but I, it was on rebate for 
These are, this is a $35 pack of chapsticks. I got it for $12 while I was also there. That was the last one as well. It had the little sign on it saying that this is the last one. And then I saw these guys and I use these ones now in my little um, crossbody bag because they fit better than like the big ball one does. But the ball ones I use all over the house. My office, my desk, my bed. I have them everywhere. Um, I actually want to put one in my car um, just to have it in my car. So these ones are going to come in handy for my purse. I also think I'm going to give some to a certain birthday girl coming up. Three of the four kids have birthdays, so I'll let you guess which child is going to get a chopstick. But um, now we're home, and I was going to put all this stuff. So we have one bin of all the donation stuff, and I don't want to donate the bin, but I also don't want to have a headache when I'm there. I don't like taking a lot of their time and backing up the line. So I need to take everything that was in that bin and put it into the boxes that I got at Costco. I'm just feeling like my... Um, my allergies are putting a lot of pressure on my sinuses right now. I'm just tired. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's Jason's home today, and it's normally he's home on a Friday, but it's Thursday because our employee needs to take a vacation um, before our vacation. And so he's home. See, look. <laughs> look. Chopstick ball. They're literally everywhere. Um, so it feels like it's a Friday night, and I just want to, like, lay down right there and turn the fire on and I keep my snuggly jacket on and get a blanket. But it's only Thursday. <laughs> it's only Thursday. Oh well. We don't have anything on the schedule tonight, which is nice. I don't even think any of the girls work. Um, but I don't feel like doing anything. I could edit this video, then I won't have anything to do tomorrow. I honestly don't know what I would do if I didn't have this channel because when I wouldn't have anyone to talk to <laughs> during the day and I wouldn't have anything to do so thank you for like staying with me because I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these videos to edit and think about and plan and schedule and literally have someone to talk to and vent and learn from and anyway it's all fantastic and meet I'm actually going to meet one of you very very soon um, so that's kind of exciting too. In fact, I need to go and reply to her message because <laughs> I have not done that yet. Um, that's it. That's it for right now. I'll be back with you in a minute. So a certain someone came home with her cap and gown today, which is very strange. And her little tassel is right here. One of a different one, but... Yeah, that's the one it came with. And then we ordered a different one. So you're going to decorate it tomorrow? Decorate your cap? Yeah. Don't go too over the top. Make it look classy. I am. Well, I can and then you're taking that with us. Not the gown. You're just uh, going to take the cap with us for a picture. I mean, I could take this. That's the little thing that goes around? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually like, I've seen people do that. Yeah. That I actually had an idea for your picture, so I'll tell you about it here in a second. Surprise the viewers with it if we do it. But okay. you're all purple today. You're wearing your purple yeah. sweatshirt. Cool. It's very surreal. It's exciting. Weird. Yeah. Oh, we're doing something here. Uh, are you bringing it yeah, down? Yeah, you have to bring it down one step at a time. We are selling this bad boy. Yeah, see, the guy was like, oh, can one of your kids... You're going to have to move. I am moving. I don't know how we're going to turn this uh, You set it down. Set it down, your end down, and stand it up and twirl yeah, it around. Set your stand. Don't hurt your back. Wait, yeah, I'm glad that we're... Wait, I wait. ...doing this with Jacob's help right now. I'm not, I'm not having to do it. I don't ever use this. So I am selling it for future opportunities for myself. All right. I didn't really explain that ahead of time. He, the guy that I'm selling that elliptical to, um, suddenly was like, "Hey, I'm I'm totally gonna come," and he wanted to come tomorrow. And I was like, "You got to bring your own second person." Like I am not lifting that. My kid, and he was like, "Oh, do you have any kids?" Because I, I told him I was like, "Yeah, it'll just be me and my kids here. I can't. We can't help you." And he's. Sorry about that, disc was full. And we have an extra couple kids out there. Can you see them? One, two, three. Ashley and her friends are here playing. Um, they all just sit on their iPads every evening after school and they all just chit chat and chit chat and I just texted her mom and I was like, just drop them off. Drop your kids off <laughs> because 
I'd rather them playing in person through dinner time. Asha doesn't eat dinner at normal time. I just put a lasagna in the oven, um, or I will soon. So it's not gonna be done for an hour, so it's already six o'clock. <laughs> so what I was saying was that I am selling this elliptical because I never get on it. It doesn't give me the workout that I need. Hang on, let's shut this door. <laughs> you guys are noisy. <laughs> that, that one likes to. <laughs> that one likes the camera. <laughs> Um, so I'm selling it. It's not the workout I want. I don't get anything out of it um, when I get on it. I do need to do something with my arms. I just don't ever use it. It's up in our little, um, the girls call it the man cave. Um, it's just the pit of a room up in our bedroom. And I'm, I'm selling it for like a hundred bucks less than I bought it like eight years ago. So it's not like I'm losing a ton of money on it and I'm I could use the money because I am saving up for something. I have alluded to that, but it's got a big price tag on it. So it's gonna take me a bit to save up for it. And no, it's not another trip to Hawaii before we've even gone on a trip. This is something related to, let's just say, working out and my body and my new little journey that I'm on. Um, so I just decided to sell that because it's part of the process. So that is going out the door hopefully tomorrow or the next day if the guy has someone to help him. But now it's an ugly eyesore out in my living room. I'm looking at it. Can you see it? Anyway, it's right out there by Ashley and the girls. Um, we have everyone here. There are girls here. Jacob's upstairs. He helped Jason bring it down as you saw. Um, <laughs> oh, dad wants to work out. Are you still laying there, Matt, to work out? Yeah, I realize I have all this extra room now in my man room. So now I need to figure out how to fill it up. <laughs> how about a desk? desk? How about a desk? No, this is the office. This office should be cleaned and organized. It is. Organized. Yeah, that's your kind of organized. Yeah, that's yeah. not normal. Yeah. Um, this is like the Dewey Jason decimal system. <laughs> Very dated. Dated? Dated. I don't know. Doing decimal system, yeah. I know. That's very I'm, dated. I'm in elementary school. Yeah, a long time ago. Longer yes. than me. This is my digital logarithm. Yeah. I need you to pay me the money for the credit cards so that I can pay them, deposit the money tomorrow. I will. Okay. By tonight, you'll have your money. Okay, thank you. I like to get paid for my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. First, I'd like to get some service first. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this is a family channel. Stop. Come back. What? What are you putting up there? Nothing. You're not putting anything Nothing. up there. I just realized there's a lot of space. So you're going to do your workout up there? Yeah, the kids are down Which would be fantastic, there, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'll get out of your way, hun. I'll get out of your way. You're not in my way, hun. <laughs> you, were so, you seem so excited about your man cave, so I just, you know. I know. I you just could saw clean this extra room. I thought, wow, I got lots of room now. You could clean that room up now. Oh, it's organized. Okay. I just have more space. His level of organization is like <laughs> You can come look at it. Polar opposite. I don't really feel like it. No. I'm gonna let you have your space. Yes, it's my space. It's your Stay space. Out. It's my space. Do I ever mess with it? No, you comment on it. I do, that's not messing with it. Well, it's my space. Bye. Bye, I love you. I might just end our video here. What what now? Wait, I need my laptop. Oh. Okay. All right, we are making dinner. We're gonna close out with you guys tonight. I've been cold. Just kept my jacket on all day. Um, got some Caesar salad, and lasagna is getting nice and crispy in the oven, and I think it's actually a meal we're all gonna sit down and eat, so <laughs> it's a rare occurrence around here. So we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. Um, we, Abby has a cold now. She was the second to last one to get it. With, well, she's the last kid to get it. I think I've got some sinus pressure going from my allergies. So I'm gonna call it quits pretty early tonight. So we'll see you guys next time. Easy.